Hi Yom Kids! The topic of today's Baal Sanskar Kinder is the fifth and final part from the series, Pakta Narsi Mehta. Children, in the previous sessions, you heard many stories like Narsi Mehta's previous birth, Krishna Milan, Sawariya Seth Nam Hundi, Nani Bai's Myra, etc. How Lord Shri Krishna used to come to help Narsi Ji in every trouble. The growing fame of Narsi Mehta was not being digested by the Brahmins there, and every conspiracy of the Brahmins started to fail. Finally, they hatched a very wretched conspiracy. The head of the Brahmins bribed a prostitute and asked her to somehow tarnish Narsi Ji's character. That prostitute, named Chachala, took the form of a devotee, went to Narsi Ji while playing the flute and chanting the name of Krishna, and said, I am going to Dwarka to see the incarnation of Sri Krishna. You are also a lover of Sri Krishna, so I have come to meet you. Hearing this, Narsi Ji became overjoyed. Chanchala sat there and started singing bhajans along with all the devotees. After the evening arti, everyone went home after taking prasad. The atmosphere of the temple became deserted. Only Chanchala and Narsi Ji remained. At midnight, she changed her dress and appeared in front of Narsi Ji in the form of a nymph and said, I am fascinated by your beautiful form. Fulfill my desire by giving me pleasure. Saying this, she came near him. Narsi Ji stepped back in fear and said, O oh, lucky lady, you are a Vishnu devotee and have set out for a pilgrimage. What kind of transformation happened in you within a few hours? You changed from a goddess to a demon. Who knows after how many births you have got this human body. I do not want to go to hell for the sake of a momentary pleasure. It would be better if you go to your home. Narsi Ji's words had an impact on the prostitute. Her lust evaporated like Kapoor, camphor, and she immediately fell at Narsi Ji's feet and started apologizing for her misdeeds. Upon questioning, the wicked lady exposed the chief leader's conspiracy. The chief was furious at his failure. Then, Chanchala left prostitution and truly became an ascetic and saved her life under the guidance of Narsi Mehta. This is the glory of the company of saints under whom people leave their bad habits and desires and get inspiration to walk on the path of devotion. Let us start today's Balsanskar Kinder by remembering Pooja Gurudev. Kirtan Now we will stand and perform Kirtan and dance for a while.
Now all children will harm Omkar. Hari Now children, we will do Tratak. Tratak increases our concentration and memory power.
Story Ratan Bai's Devotion to Guru Ratan Bai was a great devotee of Narsi Mehta, and every day during Satsang Kirtan, she used to fill a glass of water by herself and offer it to Narsi Mehta with great emotion. But people did not see Ratan Bai's sentiments and her devotion to Narsi Mehta. Rather, they misinterpreted the act of giving water. The village chief and other Brahmins were very jealous of Narsi Mehta. So, they spread rumors that he had an inappropriate relationship with Ratan Bai. In Kaliyug, it is easy to spread bad news, and rumors tend to circulate very quickly. Ratan Bai was severely beaten by her father and brother. They locked her in her room and put big locks on it. Afterward, they kept the keys in their pockets and left to see what was going to happen in Katha. The chief declared, From today onwards, Narsi Mehta will do satsang only at the village crossroads and not at home. Narsi Mehta performed satsang at the crossroads. The crowd had increased due to the controversial issue. While doing kirtan, and Narsi Mehta used to drink water at that time every day. Therefore, he felt thirsty, and Ratan Bai also thought that Guruji must be thirsty. But the question was, who will give water to drink? Ratan Bai closed her eyes with an emotional heart and imagined placing the cup on Guruji's lips to quench his thirst. In a closed room, Ratan Bai mentally gave water to Gurudev, but at the crossroads, people saw Ratan Bai physically giving water to Narsi Mehta. The father and brother were both surprised. How come Ratan Bai is here? She is locked in the room and the key is in my pocket. Both of them ran towards the house. When they unlocked the door, they saw Ratan Bai inside the room itself and was gesturing to offer water to Narsi Mehta with the glass in her hand. In fact, Ratan Bai's unified, non-dual devotion has become so intense that she was seen physically among the people at the crossroads. When the mind is unified, the body can be visible in another place, but true devotees of saints and great men do not care about all those defamations. The accusers made millions of allegations. But considering it as God's gift, we put it on our heads as an honor. Despite this, the village chief did not realize, and he complained to the king that Narsi Mehta is a tantric, a black magician, and attracts the woman of the village with the help of witchcraft. Then Rao of Junagar called him and said, You are imprisoned. If you are a true devotee, then pray to your Bhagwan to wear the same garland on you as is offered to the idol in the village temple. If Bhagwan does not wear the same garland by tomorrow morning, you will be sentenced to death. The Brahmins locked the temple and sat around, and here Narsi Mehta was put in jail. Vigil was increased. Now. Let's see what happens tomorrow morning. And it makes no sense if it is a jail or ashram for saints. Narsiji was engrossed in the remembrance of Bhagwan. In the last hour of the night, he saw Bhagwan Sri Krishna. God put his garland around his neck. He prayed to Bhagwan. Oh Prabhu, for how long will I keep troubling you again and again? Please give me a place at your feet. Bhagwan Sri Krishna said, Now soon you will leave this mortal world and attain me forever. When the temple was opened the next morning, there was no garland on the idol of Bhagwan, and the same garland was found around the neck of jailed Narsi Mehta. Narsi Mehta was set free. But nature did not tolerate the atrocities on the saints. The chief was bitten by a snake. The kingdom of the king of Junagar was snatched away. 
People accepted Narsi Mehta as a great devotee of Bhagwan and made their fortunes by joining him in satsang. In the year 1493, devotee Narsi Mehta left his mortal body at the age of 79 and unified in the supreme form of Bhagwan. Similarly, the land of India is being sanctified by the incarnations of saints. Even today, such saints are sanctifying people in the Ganga of knowledge, devotion, and yoga on this very land of India. Say, glory to the devotee and Bhagwan. Quiz Competition Now's the turn of a knowledge and science competition. You will be asked a question and there will be four options to choose from. You will need to give the right answer in 10 seconds. The question is, from the following, which of the compositions is not Nursi Mehta's? The options are A. Bhaktamal B. Surit Sangram C. Dhan Leela D. Bal Leela The correct answer to the question will be answered at the end of the session. How were the pilgrimage sites formed? Before King Vikramaditya, the pilgrimage site of Ayodhya was not known. When King Vikramaditya was returning from a war, a yogi told him, This area belongs to the footprints of Bhagwan Sri Ram. You should sit still and concentrate. You would receive the divine vibes at the places where Bhagwan played his pastimes. Then Vikramaditya searched for the place where Sri Ramji had incarnated. Afterwards, the pilgrimage site of Ayodhya was built. Before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, people did not know about the pilgrimage to Vrindavan. Gauram Mahaprabhu sent his disciples there. Wherever there was a spark in his heart that here, Chiraharan happened. Here, he had eaten the soil. Here, Ukulbandan had happened. Here, Raslila had occurred. Those places of pilgrimage were established there. Before Adi Shankaracharyaji, the statue of Badrinathji was not known. When the Pundits prayed to him, Shankaracharyaji dived into Naradkund and took out the murti or idol of Badrinathji. Then the pilgrimage of Badrinathji was established. All the pilgrimages that exist have been made with the penance and inspiration of those great men who have taken the plunge into their inner self and inner peace. That is why Jainism calls the great sages Tirthankar. Ayodhya, Mathura, Maya, Kashi, Kanchi, Avantika, Puri, Dwaravati, Chaiva, Saptaita, Mokshadayaka. There are special divine atoms in the holy land of these seven places. That is why those who travel there attain bliss and peace by doing just a little chanting and penance. Similarly, where there is chanting, penance, meditation, and bhajan, and one finds a great man soaked in spiritual pilgrimage, then such places are inner pilgrimages. Health Safety Ways to Prevent Heat Stroke or Lu During the hot days of summer, the hot winds that blow are called Lu. When you're hit by Lu, your face turns red, your pulse starts racing, breathing becomes difficult, and your skin becomes dry. You feel very thirsty and sometimes you might even experience pain in your head and neck. Occasionally, people even faint. During the days when Lu is blowing, it is important to drink plenty of water. Those who drink at least one and a half to two liters of water in the morning are less likely to suffer from Lu. When it is very hot, it is advisable to wear loose, light colored and airy clothes. You should take a bath twice a day. Drinking water or buttermilk before leaving home helps prevent Lu. 
Drinking lemonade is good for your health. Cover your ears while going out. To avoid loo and the summer heat, eat mulberries daily. Eating mulberries helps in reducing stomach, kidney, and urinary tract irritation. It heals liver and intestinal wounds. Eating mulberries daily strengthens the brain. If you get loo to relieve its effects, boil raw mangoes and mix water in its juice to make a solution. Add a little rock salt, cumin seeds, mint, and drink it. Do's and don'ts. What to do and what not to do on Akshay Tirtya. Children, this year on 10th May is the Vaishakhi month Tirtya, also known as Akshay Tirtya. Shak Shukla Tritya is in the books like Matsya, Skand, Bhavishya, Narad Purans, and Mahabharat. The good deeds done on this day are eternal, hence it is called as Akshay Tritya. This is the starting date of Satyug and Treta Yoga, the incarnation of Sri Vishnu in the form of Nar Narayan, High Grief and Parshuramji, and the Mahabharat war ended on this date. Any auspicious work can be started or completed on this day without seeing any auspicious time. For example, marriage, housewarming, purchase of house, vehicle, plot, etc., starting any agricultural work, etc., yields happiness and prosperity. By taking a bath in the Ganga on this day, one gets the fruits of doing all the pilgrimages. By recite, reciting Gangaji at home and bathing with water, mix with Saptadhatu uh, body scrub and Gajra in early morning, preferably one and a half hours before the sunrise, is very virtuous. Pray after taking a bath, O Murari, He Madhusudan. Be the one who gives me fruits by bathing in the morning and destroys the sins. Then Lakshmi Narayan should be worshipped with flowers, incense sticks, lighting the lamp with sandalwood, unbroken rice, etc. And Havan should be done with unbroken rice. Fasting, chanting, meditation, charity and reading of the holy Vedas done on this day are also fruitful. Offering water to deceased ancestors, souls on this day is eternally fruitful. When the ancestors are satisfied, happiness, peace, prosperity and divine children come into the house. On this day, serve the parents and teachers and get their special pleasure, satisfaction and blessings. Its fruit is also eternal. The word Akshay means which never ends. Our body and all the things in this world are perishable. Only Bhagwan is imperishable. Our unwavering faith in the great saints and dharma and our determination to attain Bhagwan should be unbreakable and everlasting. This is the true message of Akshay Tirtya. Narayan, 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 Narayan. With this, Today's Pass and Sky Kendra concludes. We will meet again next week with a new knowledge enhancing topic. Until then, Hari Yom! The correct answer to the question is A. The author of Bhaktmal is Navarajji. The rest are Nursi Mehta's compositions.